Good evening, guys. Yes, good evening. <laughs> it is the start of a new vlog week. Well, it's the start of a new week since it's Monday. And uh, I'm just picking up my vlog camera to now film. Yeah, I know. Um, but I have been productive today. I actually have filmed uh, Get Ready With Me. So I think you'll see this particular one on Wednesday. I just tried out some newish kind of products and what else did I do today? And I filmed a current favourites. So you'll either see the current favourites on Friday or you'll see it the following Friday. I'm not sure. But either way, I have been a bit, I have been productive today. I just, it's just a bit difficult to film when you need to get the vlog up, but the vlog is scheduled now for today, which is last Monday for you guys. This is getting so confusing guys, oh my gosh. As per usual, our normal routine that we've got is to open up the Hello Fresh box and see what I actually got inside this particular month. Month? This one, this week. I cannot talk, so let's just get into it. Three packages. I can never remember what it is I ordered. So we have duck breast with spring greens, spice lentils and apple. So that's that there tandoori chicken with roast new pa new potatoes baby gem salad and mango dressing so that's that one creamy linguine which i think i'm actually going to make today with prawns and serrano ham so that's the linguine there so we've got chicken we've got what's this serrano ham i think that's for today we've got some duck for the other menu we're going to do uh, and we've got some prawns in here as well so i think the prawns and the ham are for today's menu so i'm gonna make sure i have those oh and then what else came in there we also had some natural yogurt in that bag and some creme fraiche so yes can't wait to eat that i'm not doing anything this evening um i'm just probably just gonna sit down relax um later on make some food eat and that's it really so yeah it's just gonna be a relaxed evening so i'll bring you bring you along i'll cook along with you um this evening and show you the creamy linguine dish that i end up making right so i'm cooking now guys so i have prepped the i'll quickly show you i've prepped the veg and the meats for the spaghetti so i've got chop the chives chop the garlic chop the um serrano ham and the chili as well hi guys so i'm fishy in on the train on my way to the event i'm going to a dinner so that should be really good um it's a dinner at the IV and it's with super drugs and a few celebrities are going to be there so hopefully I can show you who's going to be there and etc so hopefully it's really good I don't know if you can hear me because the train's a bit loud but um, looking forward to it it's a really sunny day and I decided to wear boots guys how silly am I but anyway oh my gosh there's a moth in the carriage
Good evening guys, so apologies for being such a bad vlogger this evening. Um, I have literally just got back home and yes, uh, I went to the, oh my gosh, the look is so shiny. I went to the um, Shades of Beauty campaign event, which was basically celebrating one year of the Shades of Beauty campaign um, that Superdrugs launched last year. I was invited for dinner basically at the Ivy um, so in Soho. So that was a really, it was a really, really good night. I think I kind of showed you uh, the setup and just who was there but if you didn't really know what I was showing um, it was basically June Sal Pong was there who is the ambassador for the Shades of Beauty campaign so she was there Rochelle Humes the presenter and singer she was there uh, because she's got a beauty brand with super drugs and um if you don't know, it's, I think it's called High Glow, so definitely go check them out. And who else is there? Uh, Jamelia, the singer and presenter, uh, she was there as well. And yeah, it was just a really good, really good event. It was really nice. It was a really intimate event as well. So we were just sitting around a table in the Ivy um, in a room that they uh, had for us. And it was just a fun night. Got to meet different people. Actually, I saw, I don't think I vlogged her, but I did see and spoke to Chanel um, from Ambie Rose. So she was there actually. Um, I should have vlogged her and she's lovely as per usual. I think, yeah, Wandi as well from Wandi's World. Um, she was there as well. So uh, yeah, I saw so many people and I went with my um, friend from Brown Beauty Talks. I'll definitely link Brown Beauty Talks website down below. So go check them out. But it was just a really, really nice event. And I'm so, I'm so happy I actually got invited and so privileged and just so grateful to have been invited because it's such a good, good campaign to get behind. And if you don't really know what it is, Shades of Beauty is just um, a campaign by Superdrugs where they're trying to expand and ensure that their range is inclusive so they are expanding and making sure that they cater to everyone you know whether you're the palest the pal you know the palest or the darkest they want to make sure that you can find something for you in their stores whether you've got really straight sleek hair or afro hair um, or coarse hair whatever type of hair you have they want to make sure that you know you can find something for you whether you're male or female so they're trying to really extend on the shades of beauty and just provide um, um, a lot for everyone basically we're just learning more about what they've been up to this past year how they've grown what's to come and there's some exciting things coming some interesting collaborations coming from to super drugs soon guys so uh keep a lookout for that but there's some interesting stuff that's gonna happen um so yeah i'm just so happy i went and we got a little gift bag as well so i'll probably like go through that um with you guys tomorrow i even got some inspiration guys for wedding decor because <laughs> that decoration was just on point and the food was gorgeous as well the food was so so nice um we had like salmon and asparagus and uh dessert was like berries with white chocolate sauce and lemon sorbet oh my gosh it was just so good i am so tired now so i will speak to you guys tomorrow i'm not really doing anything tomorrow um but yeah this was my makeup for the day very me natural nude natural let's see but more like a nudish kind of look with warm eyes hi guys so it is now what's today today's wednesday and this is the first time i'm picking up my camera i basically was so tired this week i've just been i don't know i just haven't been feeling too good like i don't know what's wrong with me really but anyway i thought i would do a little pr unboxing and um one haul of um, Colourpop stuff that I ordered um, the other day. So, should we start with some PR unboxings? So you're just gonna be on my sofa, I hope you don't mind. But um, this, I got this package from Gosh, uh, well, from the PR. If you guys don't know who Gosh are, they're a European makeup brand and they're based in, in the UK. You can find them in Superdrug. Let's just see the PR package I sent. So that's a little box and it's basically all of their autumn, well not all, but most of their autumn winter collection. And what they've given, which I actually really, really appreciate is a press release. And then here are the products right here. So I'll quickly talk through them. There's a brush here. Um, 
I'm not too sure what kind of brush this is. Oh, because it's a mix and fix blender brush. So that's quite nice. Oh, I really want to try this. This is a Lumi drop. So it's basically like a luminizer drop. Um, the shade, what shade is this? This is in the shade rose gold. My camera's not focusing at all today. This, I think this is the mascara, my favorite mascara. Um, I think I read in the press release that this is actually supposed to give you a more natural kind of um, look. This growth serum. So I really want to try this out, actually. I was going to try it out um, for a couple of weeks and then do a blog post on it. This is the, what is this, eye primer? It's an eyeshadow primer. Yeah, so it's got like a blending sponge on one side and then it's got the product on the other side. So I will be, I'm going to try all of this stuff out. Let me know if you want me to try this out in a get ready with me video. Um, but I really want to write blog posts on these as well. This is just a brow highlighter kind of uh, duo, as you can see there. And I think that's the shade Nude. This is a corrector palette, so you can see the colours in there. The only one really that I would probably use is the one on the end, which is the orange shade. Uh, the others, eh, I don't think I can get away with too much. Oh, this is a brow shape and feel. Yeah, the colour on this doesn't look like it will suit me. Can you see that? It looks like a grey taupe colour, so I don't know. I need to swatch that and find out first. This is a primer, which looks quite interesting. Skin ad adapter anti-pollution primer in the shade chameleon okay really interested in that um this i really want to try out i had i have had a gosh powder before which was a primer powder um so you can put that under your like as your base and then put your foundation on top so i really want to try this out but this one's in the shade banana whereas the other one was white like translucent white powder so yeah, I really want to see if this works. I might give this a go in one of, one of the future videos. And then this eyeshadow palette looks so exciting, guys. It's nine shades, uh, shadow collection to party in London eyeshadow palette. And it's all shimmer shades. So that's what the palette looks like on the inside. That looks really decent, I think, if you guys can see that. So thank you to the lovely people at the Gosh PR for sending over all of these goodies. And then at the event yesterday, we got another P makeup bag. So I'll quickly show you what's like inside. There's a few things inside. So this is the event, as I said, I went, oh gosh, this is the event I said I went to. It's the Shades of Beauty event. And it's the, it's basically um, detailing the first year of Shades of Beauty. Jun Ta Pong is the um, Shades of Beauty ambassador. And that's who June is there. And I did show, I think I got her in the vlog. I'm not sure. And if you're not too sure, that's what Shades of Beauty is all about. So yeah, they've relaunched their makeup line, B Cosmetics, B Makeup, and uh, it's expanded the shades, made them more adaptable for deeper skin tones and for lighter skin tones. So it's really good what they've been doing. What they've been doing. So I've got a lot of stuff from them. I think I did try out um, some B Makeup in one of my videos recently. So I'll try and link that down below for you or in this video but we've got loads of stuff in this bag guys so oh, where do i start they are coming out with so super drugs are actually coming out with their own range of um hair products for afro hair so you can see that there um they've got a caster and shea range now um so they've got the shampoo and they've got the conditioner range which i think is so good so this is a new range for afro hair specifically uh priming souffle which i really want to try out I've got a setting spray as well which i want to have a go at i've got a cheek and lip tint uh in the shade bashful rochelle humes who's there was who was there also she also had um some her pro some of her products there and one of the products that i was given is this facial bronzing balm which i really want to try out so i think i'm gonna give that a go this high intensity radiance and glow body cream so it's really really good so her brand is called high glow and you can find them in super drugs but um yeah i really want to try it out i have tried out some of her stuff and i do really like it it's um more like a it's supposed to give you more of a glow her her line um but yeah it looks really good so now from colourpop i ordered the new karuchi and colourpop range femme rosa 
and um, I actually ordered the PR box because it wasn't that expensive to be honest um, and yes I did get customs with this I think I got about 16 pounds customs charge which isn't too bad for some reason they said that my order was was late so they gave me a free lippy stick so thank you to Colourpop for that I didn't realize it was late but I got the basic I got the full range um, I got her face palette I got her eyeshadow palette I got her lipsticks liquid lipsticks and I got a metallic liquid lipstick as well hey okay, guys this is what I made the other day it's the creamy linguine with what is it prawns and serrano ham oh camera's steaming up but yeah that's what it is it's really yummy it's actually really spicy as well oh my gosh i apologize for the the heat guys so as i said my camera actually um the memory card filled up and i couldn't show you the end result but this is it so yeah i'm going to eat that now and just relax for the rest of the evening hi guys how are you doing? So it's the first time I'm picking up this camera today because yeah, I have been at home not doing much today. I think this week has just been a week where I've just not been feeling too good in myself. So coming on camera and um, you know, vlogging and stuff has just been really difficult for me. But I thought I would say hi to you guys today. It is raining outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And I've got the news on in the background, so apologies for the noise. But yeah, I've just finished filming this look. And I actually used the Colourpop um, She palette with Karuchi that they collabed with Karuchi on. And guys, I love it. I love it so much. It's going to go up on Wednesday when you go, when I upload this, this vlog. So next Wednesday. But I really, really do like it. And oh, I got some good news today. So I'm actually going to get money back from HMRC which is great <laughs> so i got a letter through saying that the tax man is going to owes me money which is always good and i decided to cut my nails because i thought they were getting a bit too long and i like long nails but at the same time i just think they're a bit difficult to work with I've got a dress i think it's going to come tomorrow i hope it comes tomorrow but i got a dress from boohoo um com so hopefully that arrives tomorrow um and it's well it's not a dress it's a top um but i'm gonna wear that top for my barbecue that we're doing for our engagement in wells it's gonna be a really relaxed event so i'm not doing anything too dressy but i still want to stand out a bit you know um my personal trainer and i we're not going to see each other till september now or end of august because it's like summer holidays and she's on a break now and stuff and i'm going to be in wells next week so we won't see each other for about a month now so i real i will need to make sure i go to the gym and exercise i'm going to get some food ready my lipstick transferred <laughs> as i was eating but anyway i'm just watching tv i need to actually go and start editing because i need to edit so much stuff i'm going to be in wales from next week so by the time you see this i'll be in wales um so i need to edit this vlog i need to edit my video for friday which is tomorrow as i'm filming this and i need to edit my videos for wednesday next week and friday next week so i've got four videos to edit and i'm leaving for wells on sunday so tomorrow i am heading into london um to meet some old work colleagues and i need to um clear out my work desk etc and what else am i doing and then i think in the evening i'm gonna go head over to well i need to come back go to my mom's house and then in the evening i'm going to the cinema with my friend and we're gonna watch um girls trip so that should be good hey guys so it is morning and i am off to meet some old workmates <laughs> i just came across this this is uh frugal finds my frugal finds uh video <laughs> she's doing a reaction to jeffree star's apology video but i just found it hilarious wait it's all like wobbly and stuff and i'm just trying to get my wing liner like perfect <laughs> i don't know why some people don't like me but it's okay if you do not like what I'm about, if you hate me, if you despise me, if you're not into what I'm about, you do not need to watch this. But I would really appreciate if you could listen to my story and what I have to say with an open mind. And I On the train, and 
I changed my jacket because it looked like it was going to rain. So let's change my jacket. I'm just wearing this jumper. There's some leggings, but and no makeup. And I put on a box and lip gloss. So yeah. Good morning guys i really think this week's vlog is like all over the place i've already oh, can you guys see that i've got like a sore spot right there and it's annoying me but um yeah i think this week's vlog is just a bunch of me talking to you as little you know as little as i have and also me showing you some hauls and i'm going to show you some more stuff as well i'm going to try and paint my nails with this today uh this is the boots limited edition nail polish from barry m so i just thought that looked really cool um can you guys see that color can you see the color of it it's like a greeny blue i might paint my nails like this today or i'll just paint it when i get to wells on sunday oh and i got this this is a what is it? Declog mask? Purifying declog mask from Benefit. So it's one of their new masks that they have. So I thought I would try that out. I don't know, is it a peel off? Oh, it is a peel off mask. Might take it with me to, to Wells and do that there and see how well I like it. So those are just things I picked up from Boots, guys. So I did splurge a bit. And I've been wanting this for a while, so I thought, okay, I am gonna get it. But I splurged a bit in Marc Jacobs. But before I show you what I got in Marc Jacobs, because I've just realized I did get some more stuff uh, from the drugstore. I didn't realize that Maybelline had released these Super Stay Matte Inks. So yeah, I thought I would try it out and see. So I got the shade Escapist, which is that one and i got the shade pioneer which is like a red um they didn't really have that many shades that i actually was that interested in so oh well i got another brow artist expert brow pencil because i love this and the shade that i am in is in ebony so i really really do like this now wasn't too sure on it before but now i do like it i picked up another uh cover up con cover up concealer from h&m and I really like these concealers from H&M and also the reason I did decided to pick this up is because it reminds me of the Colourpop concealers although I haven't tried the Colourpop concealer but it's just I don't know the size of it just reminded me of the Colourpop concealer and I think the Colourpop concealer is quite small and this is quite small as well it's got like 0.07 fluid ounces and it's £4.99 and the Colourpop one was $6 so I think they're around a similar price so I just wanted to compare them a bit but I already know I do like these. This is quite a good, like kind of, it's quite a full coverage concealer, but it doesn't make you look dry uh, when you're actually using it. So that's why I do like these. Um, so that was from H&M. And then from H&M as well, I saw quite a few things in H&M that I wanted to actually try, but I was being good. And I thought, no, I'm not gonna splurge. I'm not gonna spend ridiculous amounts. You know, have to be, have to be clever with money. So I actually ended up picking this up. This is the, I'm going to take this to, to worlds with me as well but this is a simply mauve simply mauve is the shade and it's the fluid hues eye color so it's like a bronzy tone it's just an, a liquid like a eye shadow uh metallic eye shadow but oh gosh that looks so good so i thought i would take that along with me i went to john lewis and i knew that i wanted one of these things from john lewis um but i ended up with two things i actually bought from them okay and i'll explain why in a moment but i picked up their new mark jacobs if i turn around the right way the new mark jacobs eyeshadow palette and i got the shade provocateur like i've had my eye on this for a while i already have one of his palettes but i wanted i actually wanted the scandalous one i think that's what it's called which is a it's more of a warm toned kind of palette but when I was in store, I was speaking to the girl and actually the lady I spoke to, she said she does YouTube. Love Loz, I think her name is. I can't remember. I know her name's Lauren, but she does, she's on YouTube, so I need to find her. Um, but yeah, she was basically saying, you know, we were just talking back and forth as to which one I should get. I really wanted Scandalous, which is like the warm tone one. It has this beautiful like orangey red shade in it. Um, oh, it just looks so, so good. 
and a gold like a bronzy tone high uh eyeshadow which i really wanted but then i actually started swatching this one in store and i was like oh okay i actually really like it and this is the one that she was wearing on her eyes so this one as i said is provocateur and look how pretty it is it's something different to what i would normally get like you guys know i like my really warm tone like orangey reds but i thought this would be so different and yeah i picked this one up and it do probably doesn't look that special but when you actually swatch it oh my gosh it's so nice guys these feel like cream like they feel creamy like very very creamy uh but oh my gosh that is so so beautiful so i can't wait to um play around with that so i got that and then she said to me if you buy if you buy two items from mark jacobs then you get a free gift so i was like really why did you tell me that so i was looking around for something else to get that wasn't too pricey which you know is quite difficult if you're buying from mark jacobs but i actually ended up picking up this which is lip gloss now i have had my eyes on his lip glosses as well i do have about two or three of his lip glosses already so i already know i love the formula of them um but i had my eye on another color which is more like an burnt orangey brown color but when i swatched it it was a bit too vibrant for me so i actually ended up going with this one which is more of like a i'd say autumn winter kind of lip gloss but so pretty um the shade is super duper fly look at that it's like a brown it's just a brown actually dark brown and i don't think i have many dark brown lip glosses but i love the mark jacobs formulas if you like a lip gloss that will last quite a long time and is quite pigmented then yeah mark jacobs formulas are really good then the free gift that we got to show you it came in this bag so opens up like that and then on the inside you get these goodies for free so i thought that was quite cool so you get a mascara which is basically all like sample sizes but you get a mascara you get a highliner gel eye crayon in black and you get the petite le Marc lip creams which i love i love mark jacobs lipsticks but they're just too pricey for me but they're really good his formula is so good and they're like they're the type of lipsticks that when you put them on they just don't budge so yes yeah, so this is the mini lipstick but that's the color you get so really liking this color because it's actually quite a nice like nudie tone um for me so and then the mascara that's what it looks like there it just says mark jacobs on it it says it's the velvet noir major volume mascara and then we get the um mark jacobs gel liner which highliner gel uh i have had these these dried out really quickly on me so i'm not too sure i'm not too keen on them but i think they are quite nice and they don't budge as well when you use them so i just swatched it on my hand right there really really pigmented black and then i also picked up two books so i got from waterstones and i think i showed you a clip um of me in waterstones but so we did go to waterstones um i actually picked up this book which is called let's see I'll, i'm gonna read this this summer so it's called the underground railroad so that's the book there that i got and what swayed it for me was that um it's got it's got a little note from barack obama saying it's terrific so you know if barack obama agrees and promotes it i'm up for it <laughs> i picked up gracie francesca's new book I didn't actually get it from Waterstone because I didn't know it was going to be in Waterstone. I got mine from Amazon. I might take this one with me um, to read in Wells. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's probably take this along with me to reading wells i need to schedule some videos to upload for next week so i woke up really early finished editing um two video well finished editing one video and it took forever to export it and because it was just playing up so it's they're both two of the videos for next week are both on youtube now i just need to schedule them and then i need to edit this vlog so the vlog is actually going to end today which is saturday because i need to edit it tonight and upload it because i'm going tomorrow to wells so i'll start the wells vlog on sunday tomorrow i have got all my clothes ready i feel so organized even though it's just a day like 
I'm not that organised because I'm leaving tomorrow morning. But I've got all my clothes ready for Wells right here. So that's the suitcase I use. So I just need to put all my clothes into the suitcase. This is my bag, like where I take my shoes. So I've just taken out my dress top thing from my engagement. So this is what it looks like. It's just an off the shoulder kind of top. It's only a barbecue, so I wasn't going to do anything too, too fancy. Um, wait, is this on the inside? No. Okay. So it's only a barbecue, so I didn't want to do, it, do anything too fancy, but I did pick it out from Boohoo. Um, and look at the sleeves. I love the sleeves of this. So it's like the netted sleeves. Um, so see-through sleeves, but it's got this like embroidery stitch pattern on it. I just thought it looks so nice. So that's why. And it's like wide sleeves as well. And this embroidery just looks so good. So that's why I decided to get that. These butterfly earrings from Tony Daly. So I was thinking I could wear these with it. Oh, I've got another pair of butterfly ones, but I'm not too sure. I'm just going to pack everything up, I think, now. And uh, at least have it all packed up in my suitcase, ready for tomorrow. So I'm not, like, rushing around tomorrow or anything. So I don't need to rush anyway, because I don't need to rush down to Wells. Um, but it's all good. So, yeah, I will speak to you in a bit. Hey, guys. So I am now going to sign off from this vlog. Um, I was a bit naughty and got pizza. I know, so bad, but you know, sometimes you just you just want to be bad, right? So yeah, that was my pizza. I don't know what this vlog has been like this week, guys. So I apologise if it's been kind of all over the place, but I just haven't been in the right frame of mind to actually vlog properly. But I am. Look at my eyes, guys. My eyes are like really sore. Anyway, I look so rough right now. I have just this evening I've just been working I was doing um, the accounts for my fiance's company so I haven't really had time to vlog or do anything I had to pack and now I've got to edit this vlog and um, schedule all my videos for next week so yeah that's what I'm gonna do anyway I will speak to you in next week's vlog so I'm gonna start next week's vlog next week's vlog tomorrow because um, I'm actually heading off to Wells for a week so yeah I will speak to you then have a good week and hopefully you've enjoyed this really random week of mine all right take care guys see you soon